a big inspiration for me with the games we're building at Branch is I want to enable more 15-year-old Daytons to be able to build whatever they want and monetize it and nobody gets in their way. Branch is building blockchain-based NFT games with a focus on mass adoption. I started this company because when I was 14, all I wanted to do was play Minecraft and be on Skype calls with my friends all day. And so I wanted to build a platform that kind of smashed those two things together. High school was a waste of time. And I also grew up in the middle of nowhere and I didn't really fit in there. I was kind of like the only person <laughs> who was into computers at all. So I'd get bullied a lot at school. So I tend to just stay at home, stay in my room, play on the computer. And I just found that it was a lot more productive <laughs> and I could build things. So I was 16, I dropped out and all I knew was that I wanted to make games. I was working on Minecraft servers at the time and you know, there was a lot of competition. There was a lot of other people making Minecraft servers and I got sick of competing and I wanted to make something that I could just sell to all these people that they could all use. And something that was lacking was you didn't know who your player base was on your server. So you couldn't tell you know, how many people were coming on a day, when they were coming back, any of those metrics. So I built kind of like the first Google Analytics or mix panel for Minecraft servers and just started selling it as a subscription. And I sold that company when I was 17. And with that, I got a plane ticket and I moved out of Missouri and went to California because <laughs> I, was, I was done with it. <laughs> Our first collection, The Raft, has about a thousand ETH in volume, which at today's rates is a little over 1.3 million. And each raft is trading for about 14 ETH or roughly $20,000. We've raised 15 million to date, and it was very difficult in the beginning because I didn't know anybody, right? And I got lucky, I got an invite to this app called Clubhouse. And I started going in there and talking to a lot of people who were deep into tech and just started telling them about my business and what I was working on and people got really excited about it. I ended up raising our first angel round just through that. And, you know, from there it kind of snowballed. I remember it took like a, a good month or two to get the first commit. And then after that, the rest of the round came together in like 24 hours. The second time we fundraised was a little more difficult. So you wanna talk about grit and resilience. We were kind of going through this cycle where we saw a lot of users come in, right? We had like three million people join our game within like a month. And then a month later, they all left. And within that window, we'd gotten a term sheet and had it pulled away because our metrics were falling. And at that moment, we had like a month of payroll left and <laughs> we didn't know what we were going to do. And I told, everyone that and they were like yeah you're probably gonna shut the company down not many people make it back from that and it was two weeks later that I pulled it together and just had I had no other choice to right so I pulled it together and we ended up raising double what the term sheet was originally for I want to be known for creating a platform that enables more people to take the path I took but a lot easier Getting into games, learning to code at an early age, and monetizing that was very fortunate for me. It helped me escape a lot of things. And if I can help other people do that, but make it a lot easier to learn to code, a lot easier to make games, and a lot easier to monetize them, then more people will be able to take that path. And I think if I can do that for a lot of people, then I will have left a good mark on the world. Mm -hmm.